Okay, hey guys. We are starting right where we left off. Last time we left off, I just finished reading what I want. Meaning, will I lose my horse if I take a break from the grave? So we are picking up with why do my horses keep getting hurt? And yes, I have my glasses on. I probably should have set this up before I started talking, but oh well. Okay, let me get the live stream up on my thing. Sorry, I got distracted by my TV. Yes, I have my glasses on because I cannot leave for very long without them. These are real glasses and I also have distance ones. Let me get the set up and then I will. Okay, let's get started. Um, I'm actually going to unplug. Maybe, maybe I'll just take them off. Yeah, I'll just put them like this because that is. the microphone. But I think I fixed it. Oh, maybe. Yeah, I'm just gonna unplug them. So. Um. Okay, so um, let's start reading here. Don't mind the pop-ups in the right-hand corner. Okay, 
Why do my horses keep getting hurt? The, the injuries, the injuries section details everything that contributes to towards injuries. In a brief, in brief, there are two main reasons your horse may get, may be injured frequently. One, you are racing the horse with, you are Racing the horse with notes, which usually means you are injuring with low in in energy, low condition, on an untrained surface, on untrained surfaces. and untrained distances, etc. Two, the horse Two, the horse has high ri risk and simply is prone to injury. Sorry, my hair. Okay. Random injuries can always happen, but if your horses repeatedly, repeatedly facing injuries, one of those two is the culprit. Next question. I just moved my mouse on accident. Okay, let me move that over here and all the other stuff besides my headphones over here. Um, Let me double check the Okay. This is gonna be a short live stream, sorry guys. I have to get Okay, so Oh yeah, this is under the Oh yeah, you need to move that So, okay, the next question is how do I breed my horses? Horses can only be bred if they are retired from racing. Breeding on a flying for home is a concept. Hang on, guys.
How do I bring my horses? Horses can only be bred when retired from racing. Bringing a flying for home is a concept and not something you want to rush into. It's complex, sorry, complex, and not something you want to rush into. Getting a firm grasp on racing. Racing. will gradually improve your breeding experience. You may only breed if you one, unlocked breeding skill. One, two, have breeding passes. If If you, if you meet both those requirements, you'll want to take some time into studying up on breeding. On the, on the breeding and genetics sections of the wiki to help match each mare to a suitable stallion or stallions. It is not in your best interest, interest, interest to simply breed whatever mares you have to a random stallion. You've acquired as as you would most likely end up with very dis disappointing faults. Do you really have to train all of your horses every month? Yes, horses in benefit benefit in many ways from training, including increased conditions, chances to improve courage and sorry guys, courage and. Consistency, increased morale, increased experience from buddy workouts. If you skip training, even if your horse horses base sets and mix your horses will not perform well in races. <laughs> Perform in races and could also be more ex a acceptable to getting hurt, missing training on mares in full will also make them more likely to have high risk, high risk, high 
pregnancy risk and could come bitable come patable to becoming barren. Let me, yeah, my voice is feeling good, so let's finish this page. Racing questions, how many horses can, how many, how many races can my horse enter? Technically, there is no limit of number number lim limit to the number of races your horse can enter in a meet on a practical level however horses should not race more than once per meet unless they have been given sugar cubes more horse most horses lose too much energy after a single race to be able to safely enter a second race. A second race in a single meet. In fact, most horses perform at their best when when only raced once per month, sometimes less. Why is my horse unable to enter a race? Yearlings retired and positioned horses. Positioned horses cannot race in addition horses. Who are injured, whether on saw rest or not, cannot race if... Let me fix these. Hang on. I need to fix my glasses. I need to get my legs situated underneath me. Okay, where was it? Who are injured, whether whether on saw rest or not, cannot race if none of these are the case. Case to move your horse to a track. Wait. Your horse may not have a home track set or may not be saddle broken yet. To move a 
force to attract visit their manage page find the section on tracks and assign them a primary track to tell your horse is sow broken or not simply look at their image if they are wearing a saddle they have not if they are not wearing a saddle they have not not yet completed their basic training can <coughs> sorry I just enter my horse in any available race. In short, in short, no. There are many factors that, ter that determine what type of race a horse can enter which are explained in more detail in the racing section of the wiki. If a horse has never raced before, it has no restrictions on what grade it can enter. But you are still better off figuring out what grade suits them. In addition, it is always in your best always in your best engines to to actually find a race your horse will like which you can always determine by following the steps outlined in the tutorial and wiki and this wiki this includes checking distances surfaces and surfaces most importantly as well as track slash region and gender restrictions you can where can I find out if my horse has win has won their race you can see if or how your horse performed in races from a few different places. 
in here. Places. Firstly, navigate to your stable and view your stable results. Okay, so let's open those in a new tab and look at them. So Looks like Looks like it goes by month Game month And Meet A Or B And then it goes by Year Oh no Well so I don't. I have no results from this year. Um. This. Okay. So this will show you. Uh. List of your horses that have raced in the past meet along with information about how they placed this this is great please this is a great place to check for race notes you can yeah you can also view uh, horses results from the race history tab on their page grade one Grade 1 races are also highlighted on, on the events page, which is an icon that looks like a calendar on your right sidebar. In addition, you can view these results from, from for an entire track by going to racing then clicking the links next one is help is my horse not win why is my horse not winning and or racing poorly there is no simple answer for this every horse is different though Though in many cases poor performance is due to a combination of race notes, low morale, low peak. You have carefully read you should have carefully read carefully read to a part of the wiki, especially racing, to better understand 
understand the machine's mechanics of the game and help your isolated horse pro horses problem. You can also join Discord, post on forums, or contact staff members privately to ask for advice for advice about a particular horse. Okay, so there's the frequently asked questions part of the handbook done. Now let's go in now we're gonna go into the icons guide. So this this icon is what level this little icon here with the different level bars so this one over here okay so this first one this first box here is called account info So, account info, what level you are, and how close you are to the next one. So, currently, I am level 2. This little queen, or little, I'll call it a queen icon. So, this one right here. It's the status. So, what status you are you currently on? So, my status is green. My, this is the little cash button. Um, how? many flying for home dollars you currently have in the bank and this is pro coins so how many pro coins you currently have in the bank this is and then this one is How many tra trainer tickets you currently have? And then this one is, this next one is first classification. This gold little tier means horse is gold button. The blue tier means horse is a thoroughbred. The little purple tier means horse is a is a quarter horse. Pink one means horse is a paint horse. Horse and then this little thing here, which pearl maybe is what we're calling, means horse is ex let me look this up. extreme. Horse is an extreme mare makeover. Mare. And this little blue ribbon means, sorry, I can't see. Horse is a select sale horse. Next, it means, next little section is stable and horse care. So this little X means 
stable has not been or er, horse has not been fed, trained, buddy worked or injured. The green one means horse has been fed, trained, buddy worked or injured also includes indicates when a horse is qualified for a L O L G C or W C F and then the gray means the gray X means horses unable to perform listed actions due to energy or age. The little Gray hash mi gray minus sign means horse is not qualified for L L L G C or W C F. The little banding minus means banding with the red minus means horse ha is injured and has not been seen by the currently on stall rest. And the banding with the green plus means horse is in horse is injured and currently and is currently in real rehabilitation. 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 I don't know how to say that word. It basically means they're in rehab. And then this little. Here, let me throw the. This little thing means. Horse has broken equipment. And then the this means the next section is M M A slash S C eligibility. This means the red X means horse is not eligible for a MA and or SC. Green minus sign means horse is eligible for an A and or SC. Green check mark means horse has been transformed to M A and or S C and the gray hash mark a gray minus sign means horse was a visual for an MA before trans trans transitioning to SC. Um, and then sales and auctions. The the blue middle price tag means horse is offered is being offered for a private sale 
Green one means horses being offered for public sale. Orange one means orange pricing means horses being offered for public lease. And then the royal gavel means horses currently being currently considered to Cosine, consigned to an auction, and then the red and yellow and green minus signs means horse has genetic, genetically purchased. Next one is racing. The little red flag means race is an auto qualifier for a gold cup in League of Legends. Horse and then the little yellow, um, yellow. Um, tri, tri, triangle, or yield sign, as they all call it, is horse has races that need attention. Red one, um, red yield sign means horse received handily. Note due to down guard downgraded and then yellow banding with yellow triangle next suit means horse has been injured during race. Blue star means demands demands horses you own in a race domain horses that benefit 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 from a Place in a race. The yellow or green star means. Wait, the yellow one means horses you own, yeah. or the blue star means horses you own in a race. And the blue one means don't name that limit from place in the race and the dollar sign means Um, domains horses is entered for claim and race. Um, and I think that's where we're gonna stop. So we stopped at breeding icons. So we'll finish.